Hey guys, Paul at Porter's Camera. Today we're going to talk about Nikon's creative lighting system, their CLS system. What we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, D7000 camera and with the poppy uppy flash, we're going to remotely fire and trigger an SB700. It's pretty simple stuff, guys, and it's all automatic. It's all TTL. Just follow these simple little steps to set them up. Okay guys, here we got the uh, D7000 and the SP7. I'm gonna show you how to set this stuff up. We'll start with the camera. Now on the camera, it doesn't really matter what mode you're in. You can do it in any of these program modes, right? Or in the automatic mode. But remember, if you're in the scene modes or the automatic mode, if the flash isn't gonna fire, then this probably isn't gonna work for you. The first step we're gonna have to do though is set it up. Let's see if I can't just focus in a little better here. Okay, is uh, to set it up in the menu. Okay, so what we do is I'm just gonna move this back to program mode then. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and, and select the menu option here. Turn the camera on, I guess. And then we want to move out of this uh, regular camera menu down to the pencil. So I'm going to go over to my tabs bar, down to the pencil, and we see down here I have the option for bracketing and flash. So I'm going to jump into those options, and then down here, I believe it's E, where are we at? It's E3 is the flash control for built-in flash. Okay, so if I arrow to the right, I jump into that sub-menu, and right now it's set for TTL, which is an automatic flash. But what we want to do is play with the commander mode. So we come down to commander mode here, and I arrow to the right, and now I'm into its sub-menu. Our first option then is, uh, is the ability for us to select whether or not we want the poppy up flash to even be in the exposure. If we don't, we leave it on hashes, but if you did want to use it for a fill, you can put it on TTL or manual and then change the power. Now when you're in TTL, you can even change the compensation too. You can pull it in third stop increments or push it in third stop increments. But most of the time, I just leave mine turned off. So the hashes means the pop-up flash will not be physically in the exposure. Okay, then we move into our groups. We got two groups available, group A and group B, if you're using two flashes. For group A, that's gonna be my SP700. I'm gonna leave it on TTL. So it meters automatically, but you still have the option from the camera to turn down its power or turn up its power if you want to. Now the next important step is to make sure everybody's on the same channel. So here I got it set for channel one. So to accept all this data then it says press OK. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit OK there. And don't forget you gotta actually have the pop-up flash up for it to work. Okay, now onto the flash. SP700 has made this simple where remote capability is built right onto the switch. But there's this little lock there. I can't get past there until I press that button in and then spin it. And now we got it set on remote. So by default, it's set for channel A, or excuse me, group A, channel one, which is perfect. That's what I had my camera set up to. But if you wanted to change those variables, you can. You just hit the select button and then you can choose, you know, maybe I want this to be group B or group C or whatever. And then just hit OK to accept that data. Same thing with the channel. You just hit select a couple times and you can change the channel if somebody else you're shooting with might be playing with this trick too. So we got it on group A channel one, which was the same as the camera. So now when I fire the camera, the pop-up flash, okay, is gonna communicate that data over to the sensor. Remember it's line of sight on the speed light and fire it automatically. Bam, just like that. So that's it guys. Cool guys, hope that helps. If you got any other questions, go ahead and give us a buzz here at the shop or you can check out more data on these things on our website.